Take one. Is that a lot enough clap? Oh, we should have had the board. Welcome back to How to Cake It Tuesday. Today, cake me to the movies. I'm making a movie night themed cake. It's a combination of everything that I love to eat at the movies all in a cake. We should roll like film reel. Can we do that? Can we black and white me a bit? Well, I'm black and white, but like black and white picture a bit and I'll be all like, welcome to the movies. My drink of choice at the movies is root beer. So I've actually made a root beer chocolate cake. And on the cake, we're gonna have buttered popcorn, chips, licorice, M&Ms, what else have I got? Sour keys, Starburst, pretzels, everything that you would wanna eat while watching a great movie. It's time to cake me to the movies. Let's get started. <laughs> Not like that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get started. <laughs> Lights, camera, action. I'm gonna remove my root beer chocolate cakes from their pans. These cakes are nine inches. I'm gonna level these cakes so that they're all even and straight. Oh, but I pulled off a little chunk. Yeah, I saw that. Wait, let me switch. Watch. There you have it, three beautiful root beer chocolate cake layers. This recipe is actually really easy to make. Just click the link below and make one for yourself. Before we begin to assemble this Cake Me to the Movies cake, I'm going to crush some M&Ms. And we just want to crush them sort of slightly. I can hear them screaming. This is enough for one layer and I'm going to do it one more time. For a little more root beer flavor, I'm gonna pour root beer into my simple syrup. Ooh, fizzy syrup. <laughs> Take three. That, your claps are so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Am I wrong? Our claps are yeah. so weird. I blink long. <laughs> my producer just told me my claps are bad. I'm sorry. I didn't. I didn't go to clap school like some people. And now we can put some buttercream into our piping bag. I'm using a. I'll tell you what I'm using. A number eight twenty five star tip. I'm gonna use a lazy susan under my stand because I want to pipe rings of buttercream. I'm gonna pipe a ring of shells on the outside so that it's really decorative. We are gonna throw on our M&Ms. Be generous. If you just put your layer on top, because these are like smooth and shiny, it won't really stay. So, turn your layer over and we're gonna put just a thin little scraping of buttercream. Don't take it right to the edge because it's just kind of glue. I love making these kind of cakes because I feel so free compared to fondant. See, it's sticking to your M&Ms. Here we go. Okay, one more layer. And we're gonna flip it onto our cake. You don't wanna press too hard, you don't wanna squeeze out all the buttercream. Look at your cake from all angles. Make sure all the layers are level and in line. For the top, I'm actually gonna spread a bit of buttercream in the middle. And then I'm going to do the same piping, but just around the outside edge. By piping this edge, we are creating a lip on the cake that's going to hold in all of our crunchy popcorn chip candy goodness. Before I add this popcorn to the cake, it needs what all movie popcorn needs. What is that, kids? Butter. Butter. This is my best friend, Butter. I don't usually melt her, but she's so good at melted. Oh my God, it smells like the movies. 
Hold on, I have to check if it tastes like the movies. Try not to disturb your piping. I'm gonna throw in a few chips here. This is so much more than cake. This is like a cake candy chip explosion. Take four. Oh, that's why I don't clap, it hurts. I want this popcorn to stay in place as much as possible. So I'm actually gonna melt a little bit of red chocolate and drizzle it on top before we add the candy. Melt it till there are some chunks left and then just stir and stir until they melt. And then we will put it in our handy little paper piping bag and drizzle. The drizzle looks really pretty. It's gonna set and harden and it's gonna hold all the popcorn and chips in place. Let's add a few pretzels. I bought this licorice because I love it. It's so bright and you can peel it away and eat it, but I'm gonna chop it into little bite-sized pieces and just throw it on. Next up, Starburst. Do not eat Starbursts while filming. Okay, oh, salad keys. Whoa, this cake is on overload. There we go. All we have left are these giant chocolate covered pretzels covered in mini M&Ms, but I'm gonna pick one gorgeous one as a centerpiece. It's like the star on a Christmas tree. Somebody sing carols for me, please. How do I describe this cake? It's a root beer chocolate cake filled with vanilla buttercream and crushed M&Ms. And then on top, we have more buttercream, buttered popcorn, salty chips, salty pretzels, sour keys, starburst, Twizzlers, and of course this gorgeous chocolate covered pretzel, which is also covered in mini M&Ms. This is how you cake a movie night cake. Okay, are we at the part where I cut it and eat it yet? Please say yes. Take 168. I'm actually really nervous about cutting this because it's gonna be messy. I don't even know how to approach this. Oh gosh! Okay, I don't think I can do this. I don't think I can do this. No, that's not the way either. Oh my God, I just see mess happening. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's like an avalanche. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! This is a hunk of hunk of cake. I can't guarantee that these cakes are easy to cut, but I can guarantee that they taste good. It's a blockbuster. Popcorn, I should have just made popcorn for this video. Mm. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel.